Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel Aviator Updates. I am Rakesh Nagy and I am an aviation enthusiast. Today we are going to discuss about the approach capabilities which are shown on the PFD column 4. Okay, so we will discuss about all the FMAs which appear in the PFD column 4. So let me remind you friends what is PFD column 4. In my previous session, I have discussed that on PFD, suppose this is PFD. That is the primary flight display on the main instrument panel. On the PFD, there are five columns. One, two, three, four and five. I'll rename them first, second, third, fourth and fifth. Today we are going to discuss only about column number four. Okay. And column number four is four approach capabilities. That's what we have discussed in my previous session. I'll share the link of the previous session which I am talking about in the description below. Do check it out. So let's start about the fourth column. So in the fourth column, as discussed, there are three lines. First line, second line and third line. Okay. So there are three lines. So what appears in these three lines? We will learn that. So in the first line, if I talk about the first line, what FMA will appear? Okay. So the FMA which can appear in the first line, first line is CAT1, okay. So this FMA can appear in first line or CAT2 or CAT3. So any one of this can appear in the first line of this fourth column of PFD which is for approach capabilities. Okay, friends. Next, whenever CAT1 FMA is available here in the first line, what does it mean? It means that CAT1 capability is available. So likewise, if CAT2 FMA would appear here in the first line, it would mean that CAT2 capability is available. And if CAT3 FMA appears in the first line, it would mean that CAT3 capability is available. For all the ILS categories in prison approaches, I will make a separate video for it. In this session, I'm just going to discuss about all the FMAs which can appear in the fourth column of PFT. CAT1, CAT2 or CAT3. These FMAs appear in white color. Okay, let's go ahead. So I hope you are clear with the first line. Next, we'll discuss about the second line. So I'll write here, second line. So what appears in the second line? So this second line I'm discussing about, I'm tracing it with black, okay, just to identify for the purpose of explanation. So what appears on the second line? On this second line, FMA which we can get is single, S-I-N-G-L-E, single or dual. So note that single and dual, these FMAs also appear in white color in the position as discussed, that is second line. So note that friends, these FMAs, single and dual, whenever they appear, they appear in white color. Next, what is the meaning of the single and dual? Single means CAT3 capability is available with fail passive condition. That means with one autopilot engaged. Next, what is the meaning of dual? Dual means CAT3 capability is available with fail operational condition means with two autopilot engaged. So I hope you are clear with the meaning of single and dual. In single, one autopilot is engaged. In dual, two autopilots are engaged. So now let's discuss about the third line. This one, and of the fourth column. So what will appear on the third line? So I'll write here, third line. So in the third line, we can get minimum descent height or minimum descent altitude. So whenever this FMA appears in the third line of fourth column on PFD, it appears in white color. And along with this, some digits are also visible, which are in blue color. So I'm just putting cross marks to indicate that digits are also visible. Note that these digits are the MDH, that is the minimum descent height or minimum descent altitude values, which are entered by the flight crew on MCDU that is the multi-purpose control and display unit 
performance approach page okay friends next what else can appear here in case of prison approaches in the third line or fourth column on pfe we can get dh or no dh okay here some numbers will also be visible okay so normally this dh and no dh will appear white in color and digits will appear blue in color so i hope you are clear with the color so let's go ahead with the discussion of this so in case of precision approaches for these values to appear on the pfd column 4 third line the flight crew must enter the decision height value on the mcdu performance approach page and if the flight crew enters the word no in the mcdu performance approach page in the relevant field of decision height then you will get no dh in the third line of this fourth column also in some mesen numbers of airbus c20 on the pfd in fourth column third line in place of these you may get you may get baro x x x x so this baro appears in white color and x x x is the numbers they appear in blue color so i repeat again in some mesen numbers of airbus c20 in place of this you may get baro x x x x so what is the meaning of this baro baro means the same thing as this one baro means the minimum decision altitude or the minimum decision height whatever value the flight crew would have entered on the mcdu performance approach page next in case of dh or no dh you can get radio and then the numbers or or no dh in some mesen numbers of 320 you may get radio xxx or no dh so radio it appears in white color xxx means the numbers they appear in blue color and no dh this is the uh, again the same thing as like this so these numbers which are shown in blue are the ones which are entered by the flight crew on mcdu performance approach page so likewise so as like this if the flight crew would have entered the word no in the mcdu performance approach page then this no dh will appear on the third line of fourth column on pfd so friends i'll just summarize what we have discussed we have discussed about the approach capabilities which appear in the column 4 on pfd okay so we have discussed about all the three lines first line second line and third line on first line what do we get we get the cat 1 cat 2 or cat 3 on second line we get single or dual and on third line we get mda dh or baro or this for non precision approaches or precision approaches so i'll come up again with a new topic in my next session till then you enjoy learning this and if there is any doubt do comment below and ask me questions i will be happy to help thank you